<laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the body condition score. We're going to base it on the anatomy, the physiology, and you have this chart right here. Now, if you look at the back of your chart, I've given you some little secrets on based on nine from one to nine the different parts of the body so when you hear me talking about going down the cervical thoracic lumbar sacral you're going to look at these different parts on this card and that's going to give you an idea of what the body condition score should be now remember these are goats on a browsing project they need to be kept in moderate body condition scoring and that's a four to a six it doesn't cost us too much to flip from a four to a five, a five to a six. But once we start dropping down to thin, which is a, a three, a two, and a one, that's where we start ending up spending a lot of money to bring these um, animals back up. Okay, you can you can be my hands here. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look we're going to look at um, the, coming down through the anatomy. So we're going to start up here right in through here with a cervical vertebrae and what we're looking for as we come down through with our hands this is going to be your spinal column so this is this is what's going to come down from the top all the way down through here turn and go this way and these are your fingers that you're going to put out to feel this part right here these this is called the um the wings of the vertebrae and there's a, there's a muscle that runs down through here, and we want to be able to feel that muscle on those vertebrae. So um, we're going to start right up here at the top. <clears throat> Just hug this girl. <laughs> That's okay. However, we, we got to do it. And as we come down... Hey, young lady. Be nice. What, we, what we're going to do is we're going to come down through here, and the palm of our hand is going to stop right on the top of the withers. And... Okay, because the reason we want it to stop on top of the withers is we want to feel how the neck blends into the shoulders. We don't want to take this neck and stick it on. We want to have a nice blend down through over the shoulder, coming down. Here's the neck, the end of the neck, and we're coming down to the scapula. Now, if you look at the front of your picture, remember yesterday I told you this is the scapula? And what we're going to do is we're going to look for the spine of the scapula. And this is going to be the goat. If you want to feel the spine of the scapula, it is right here. You can just come down. Your finger is going to actually bump over that. And you're going to stop there. And you're going to feel how does that muscle fit from the neck. Now we're going to go back on toward the shoulder. And we're going to come back here. And we're going to see how the scapula lays in. Why do we want to do that? Because we've got muscle covering all of this. The more muscle we can get to cover this, the healthier, the better body condition score our animals in. And what are we feeling for smoothness and thickness? Yeah, when we're we're going to hit um, another animal, Chubbs over here, um, you'll be able to actually see the difference. That's why I'm starting out with this goat, and then we're going to go to the I don't know what is his name is. Uh, Spike is a big one. Pearl and Madonna. Who's this? And Sheba. Sheba? Sheba. <laughs> is that like the wiggling wahini? Uh, she's just a... Uh, Spike. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to compare she to Spike. So this, this neck is just coming in here, and then if you look real carefully, the shoulders pop out. Then we're going to come back down through here, and one of the things we want to do, we're doing with dealing with meat goats, we want to make sure that our hand isn't sliding in under the shoulder. So we feel the spine come to this, and then we're going to feel down through here to make sure these shoulders are seated well onto the rib cage. And you can see that right in this muscle here. You want to make sure this scapula is sitting right on this rib cage. Because if it isn't, when they walk, they get these real open shoulders and they don't travel as well. And when they start to go up, it's an open shoulder, they can't really pull down as well because they don't have the muscle attachment from those shoulders onto that rib cage. Okay, so we're going to come back up, come down through. Now we're looking at the, the cervical vertebrae end, and you can feel this point right here. The thoracics begin. There's 13 ribs there's 13 thoracic vertebrae. We're going to come on down through here. and what, Now what we're doing is putting these two fingers out and we're going to feel. We're coming down the spinal column and we're going to feel 
the um, actual vertebrae where we're feeling for muscle as we come down through here. Now the palm of your hand is another feeling point because it's going to hit a dip. Right here is the dip. And this is the end of the thoracics and the beginning of the uh, lumbars. So now we're going to take this point and we're going to swing our hand down and we're going to see how our fingers fit into the ribs. Now one of the little secrets here, this is the $50 trick. If your fingers fit into these ribs and it's like the back of your hand, you're do working with a one to three. If you flip your hand over and it's this part of the hand here, then you're at a four to a six. If it feels like this, you're into chub, which is seven to nine. So we come down here, we're gonna stop right where the, the, the thoracics and the lumbar end, or the lumbar begins, and then we're gonna see how we feel in here. Then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna keep on going down through, we're gonna feel down through our lumbar vertebrae <clears throat> until this part of our hand hits where the, the hips begin. And what we wanna do now is we wanna take this part of our hand and we wanna to go to the hip. So we're gonna to come to the hip and what we're feeling for here, as we come down with our hand, we're feeling from this point of the hip to here, we want to see if there's muscle here. Does it fold up or does it cave in? Is it concave or is it convex? Because <clears throat> that's another indication of muscling. We're going to take our hand right here. This is where the lumbar ends and the sacrum begins. This is your coccygeals right here. We're going to put our hand like this. Now what we want to feel is down toward the pin bones. We want to feel if we have any muscle in here. And we're just going to slide down and see if we've got, does it feel the palm of your hand or is it not there? Come back up to where the lumbar end, the sacral begin, and we're going to head to the tail head, which is our coccygeal. And we put one finger on one side, one on the other side. And what we don't want to have are these fingers, like we're skiing moguls, you don't want to go whoosh, poof. Mm -hmm. But what's going to happen here? We're going down, we go in and back out. Mm -hmm. So you can see right here where this animal dips right in here. <clears throat> so we're losing some muscle body condition score. The other thing we have to remember is it's got dairy blood in it. Mm -hmm. Dairy goats are built to milk. Meat goats are built to eat. So always think about that when you're feeling them. So from the next, the next point we're going to do is we come back up to the point right here. Come to this, there's a, there's a little bone right here, the point of the sternum. We come back in and we want to feel, is this covered or can we feel it? This one you can feel real clearly. And if you look back on your cheater card, where's my little square card? <clears throat> if you look back on the cheater card here, it says, uh, where does it say sternum? Sternum is prominent. Look at number three. This is a, okay, so we got our sternum, and then we come underneath, and you can feel where the rib cage ends, right here. It's the same point on you. It's right. It's this point right here. So you're gonna feel that, and if you can feel, hey, sit down. If you can feel that bone in here, then we know it's it's not well covered. We're losing some body condition scoring. So what number is this goat? Um, you tell me. I, I don't. I don't three, tell you anything. You have to pass the test.